Reset the clock. Your clock will kick out. Out of time. Working clock. Shut the... Clock is a 2021 sci-fi horror thriller. Written and directed by Alexis Jacknow, it stars Diana Agron, Jay Ali, and Melora Hardin. The story is about a woman who enrolls in a clinical trial to try and fix her seemingly broken biological clock after friends, family, and society pressures her to have children. I've been through this a million times and I'm happy with or without kids. I really wish I believed them. There's a couple of empty chairs at the table. Dad, can we not? So I just got done watching Hulu's latest original movie, Clock, and off the jump, I gotta say, I was actually really impressed because once again, Hulu original horror, especially the horror movies, are really, really good. The whole cast do a great job, but especially Diana Agron. She was phenomenal in this movie. Really, really impressive performance. But it's a really interesting movie that goes down some crazy rabbit holes. And if you're a woman, I'm guessing this would probably connect with you even stronger because it's very much a woman story. It's about this woman who everybody around her thinks she needs to get pregnant, but she just doesn't have any desire to have kids. And it really goes deep into societal pressures. So even as a man, I'll never know what the pressure to have a kid is like, but societal pressures in general, things that I'm expected to be or do, I know those feelings and I know everybody out there can relate to that. And I feel like they did a really good job of conveying that message where it goes way beyond just being a woman and having to do with children. But the performances make you really care about this character and get invested pretty quickly on. And the story and pace moves really, really well. So you're not really looking at your clock, no pun intended, and wondering when this movie's getting it going because it pretty quickly gets into the meat of the story. But she goes into this clinical trial, this research facility, and weird stuff starts to happen. And it actually really reminded me of a Cronenberg movie. I mean, it's not insane, but there's some stuff. There's some really like uncomfortable imagery, some pretty gross things, some really interesting body horror things in general that I was surprised that it went this far, especially for a movie that's straight to Hulu. And it doesn't really pull back any punches either, but especially I was surprised by the fact that there were things that this movie did that I haven't really seen done before. And just a heads up for the guys out there, because I know the majority of my audience is made up of guys, even though I wish it would be a little more split. That's just the way the horror world works. But an FYI for you guys, there is some stuff in this movie that if you're not comfortable with women's bodies and things that happen to women's bodies, especially when they're pregnant, this might not be something for you. On top of that, there's some other stuff to do with men and uh, some pain things that might make you wince as well but I thought this was really entertaining and really well put together now it is a pretty small movie so it's not this giant story it's more of an isolated this small story of this woman going through this but it actually goes into some places and takes some twists I was not expecting at all. There were a few things in it that I wasn't a huge fan of, but for the most part, I was pleasantly surprised and very entertained by this. I mean, especially for a Hulu movie, this is something that anybody out there that has Hulu can watch right now for free. So. I think that's a big win. But if you've had Hulu for a while, you know that their originals are bangers. I mean, last year they put out Fresh, which was one of my absolute favorite movies of the year. And this is another one of those movies. I'm not gonna say it's quite as original as Fresh or, or maybe as good as Fresh, but it's a different kind of movie. This is a little more of a thriller and a little more dialogue driven. There isn't quite as much craziness, but as far as the acting and directing and just polish on this, I was really surprised at how good it was. So I think if you go into this with the right expectations, just looking for a psychological thriller to have a good time with, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. So right now, while it's on Hulu, I absolutely recommend you guys check this out. You want kids. You want kids. You want kids. You want kids. Today we'll be learning to perform maintenance. The family is everything. On a working clock. To reset the cog. I am out of time. Behind the pendulum. Pendulum. But that's gonna do it for me today. Thank you so much for checking this out. Do me a favor, if you enjoyed this, hit the subscribe button and ding that little bell cause that's the best way to keep track of this channel and when I post videos like this, and I post videos like this every single week. I also wanna give a huge 
massive, enormous thank you to the Ghost Pirate crew, to you guys over on Patreon, and to the channel members over here. You guys absolutely mean the world to me. And if you guys would like to find out how you can become a member of the crew and join over on Patreon, there's a link down in the description. Or if you want to join here as a channel member, there's a little button right down there that says join. But like always, thank you so much for watching. Please crush that like button. And remember, guys, horror can be fun. And if you enjoyed this, click right here to watch my review of Innocent Men. And I'll see you guys next time.